In this video, I'm going to talk about two things. One from arithmetics or multiplying numbers, and then how we can use that in factorizing quadratics. So let us first talk about multiplying by doubling and halving. Okay, so this is what I want to look at, multiplying by doubling and halving. Now this is, I have found this an amazing and a very useful tool, especially when you're multiplying by uh, multiplying numbers like fractions. So let us let me explain what I mean. Suppose you have to multiply, say, 1.5 times 4. Okay, so you can do this in different ways. So you can go uh, 1 times 4, which is 4, and 0.5 times 4. Point, point 0.5 times 4 is 2. So this answer is we know is 6. But how can we do this in an efficient and a better way, I, I would say? So what if I double this number? So if you double 3, 1.5, you get 3. So to maintain the same, uh, or to get the same answer, you can understand logically, this, if you times this by 2, if you double this number, you have to halve this number. Okay, so 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the answer is 6. So, so what I want to say is 1.5 times 4 is same as 3 times 2. Okay, so and that's an amazing, I would say, revelation for some of you. So let's take, slightly make it a bit complicated. Suppose if it is 2.25 times 8. Okay, so let's do by doubling and halving. So I'm going to double this. So double of 2.25 is 4.5. So if I double this, I have to halve this number. So half of 4 is 2. So again, I'm going to double this till you get tidy number. So if you double this, that is 9. So you have to halve this number, which is 2. So this is 18. If this is 18, this would also be 18. So let's check that on a calculator. Okay, so this is, uh, let me show this. So 2.25 times 8 is 18. Or 4.5 times 4 is also 18. And 9 times 2 is also 18. They all give you the same answer. Okay, so let's use this strategy to factorize quadratics which can, uh, which causes problem to most of students when they are factorizing quadratics with a coefficient of x squared. So now this is for primary students, okay, so year 7 and 8 or year 5 and 6 can handle this. But how this is applied in applying, uh, sorry, factorizing quadratics is really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want this, I want, uh, I, I'm going to factorize, factor out 4. So I'm going to write this as 4 times x squared. So if you factor out 4 from 4x four squared, you can get 4 times x squared. Plus if you want to get, if you factor out 4, you have to write 5 quarters x. I want you to stop and think, how, why did I write 5 quarters? So you go backwards, you always check like this, 4 times x squared is 4x squared, and 4 times 5 quarters. Okay, so let me show that. 4 times 5 quarters is, 4 times 5 quarters is 20 quarters. Okay, and 20 quarters is nothing but 5. So I'm writing this as 5 quarters minus 6 quarters. The same logic, 6 times negative 6 quarters will give you, so let me do that, 6 times negative 6 quarters. Okay, so you multiply the top number, so which is minus, uh, minus 6 times negative 6 quarters is minus 36 over 4. Oh, 4 times, so that's what I was, it's 4 times, sorry, it's 4 times 6 quarters is negative 24 quarters negative 24 quarters, which is nothing but negative 6. I hope that is clear. So that is out of the way. So the next step is 4 times. This is x squared. So let me write this as a decimal. 5 quarters is 1 and 1 quarter. So that is 1.25x. And this is 3 halves. 
and three halves is one half, 1.5. So three halves is 1.5. Okay, so let me write this again. So now you have to find this. So I, I can write four times x times something and x times something. Okay, now I want to find two factors of 1.5, which gives you 1.25. That can be really difficult. So let me write, how can you write 1.5? So let me show the working here. 1.5. 1.5 can only be written as 1.5 times 1. Okay, you can write in different ways. So let's start with 1. 1.5 is. Let's not look at the sign now. Only let us focus on the number. We'll look at the sign later on. So 1.5 times 1. So if you put 1.5 and 1, you will get 1.5, yeah? But I want to get two numbers, yeah? Which multiplies to give you 1.5. And if you uh, if you take away, you should get 1.25. So, what if suppose if I double this? So if you double this, so this is three times. If you double this, you have to half this. So this is three times 0.5 is also 1.5. But this will not give me three and one. If you if you take away 0.5 from three, that's not going to give you 1.25. So what can we do? Let us do the other way around. Let us halve this. So if you halve 1.5, you'll get 0.75. So if you halve this number, you have to double this number. So 2 times 1.75 is 1.5. I hope you know that. 2 times, let's, let me show that on the calculator. 2 times 0 0.75 will give you 1.5. Okay. But that will also give you two take away 0 0.75. Two take away 0 0.75 will give you 1.25. Or two take away three quarters is one and a quarter. So let us check that. So two minus 0 0.75 is 1.25. So I'm going to write first the numbers. So let me use the numbers. So let me write two and 0 0.75. You can write 2 and 0 0.75. Now we need to decide the sign. So we want a sign. We want this. It can be 2 times 2 times 0 0.75 is 1.5. But my re, but I want what I want is negative negative 1.5. So if I put a negative here, and if I put a uh, if yeah, if if I put this negative, if I make this negative and this positive, this will give me, uh, we want a positive number. Sorry, I'm getting confused here. So let me write this again. Okay, so I want, I want the 1.5. I want, so this, let me write this as 0 0.75 times 0 0.75. So that's what, so what should be the sign now? I want a positive number. So this is, if you put, if you make this negative and this positive, so you can go two, take away 0 0.75. I was right in the, to start with. So two and 0 0.75 will give me. So I should put here plus two and negative 0 0.75. So let me, so we want to simplify this a little so, so that we can check our answer. This is 4 times x minus 0.75 is 3 quarters times x plus 2. Okay, so now we're going to expand this. I'm going to bring this back. So I'm going to multiply 4 with x and 4 times 3 quarters. So we're almost there. So this is 4 times x is 4x. And 4 times 3 quarters is negative 3 times x plus 2. So these are the two factors. And now if you want to check your answer, you should expand this. And if you expand this, you should get back your question. So let's do that. It's also good practice. So let's expand this. So if you expand this, so this is 4x times x is 4x squared. This is to check our answer. So what we're doing now is checking our answer. So 4x times x is 4x squared, 4x times 2 is 8x. 
Now minus 3 times x is minus 3x and minus 3 times plus 2 is minus 6. So this is 4x squared plus 5x minus 6 and that's what we started with. We started with factorizing this 4x squared plus 5x minus 6. So you should be really proud and happy and so you can give yourself five stars, five smiley faces.